Does anybody recognize this? If not, we'll give you a little bit closer of a look here. This is the BSD Revolution Hub. This was sent to me directly from Grant Smith, the owner of BSD himself, to which I owe a gigantic thank you. And in today's video, we are going to be taking apart the BSD Revolution Hub and comparing the internals to the Free Night Planetary Free Coaster, the hub that this Revolution Hub was based off of. And it looks like the hub guard wants to come off already. So I'm gonna be taking apart both of these hubs and comparing their internals. And one thing worth mentioning real quick before we get into this is that there is an updated planetary free coaster from Free Night that some overlap occurs with this hub and I will explain as I go. So with that being said, let's get this hardware off of here and to not bore you guys with all of this part of it, I'm going to cut directly to the part where we've got all of the hardware off of here and we're ready to take the driver out as well as the same with the planetary. Now, all right, so we got the hub guards and hardware off of here that we need to in order to take it apart. So we'll take the jam nut off of here and taking the jam nut off of here is where one of our first differences lie. And that is that the jam nuts are different between the free night and the BSD. And the reason for that is that the BSD jam nut is made to fit their proprietary drive side hub guard, which is included with all BSD Revolution hubs. It comes with drive side and non drive side hub guards. So as you can see, it fits that perfectly. Let's set that aside and get to the part that I feel like a lot of you guys are here for. We are ready to take the driver out of this. So all we need to do to take the driver out is literally just pop it off of here and pull it off. And as you can see, the clutch came with it. Let's put that back on there. We'll get to that in a second. So we've got the driver here. It is very, very familiar upon first impressions here. And now we've got the driver from the Free Night Planetary Free Coaster and the BSD Revolution in hand. The BSD is on the right, the Free Night is on the left. And as you can see here, the BSD has a little bit of extra material around the bearings, whereas this one's a little bit thinner, but the paws and springs and everything in here looks exactly the same. This is a good place to point out that the paws and springs pull downward instead of spring upward for how this hub works. If we look at the teeth here, we can see that the teeth on the BSD are a little bit thicker as well. This is something that I believe translates over to the updated Free Night hub because Grant Smith told me that the only thing that is completely identical between the two hubs is the drivers. So let's set those aside and take a little bit closer of a look here to our hubs. So the clutch is already partially out of this one. So let's take it off. And as we can see here, we have an assembly. The clutch does not come apart. It is all self-contained and there is a C-clip here that you would use to take it apart. If we grab the one from the free night, we can see that it's a little bit different in that this one, once you take the spacer out, it completely comes apart. And it's at this point of this clutch being apart that I feel that we need to take apart this clutch assembly in order to directly compare them Already we're seeing differences in material where we can already see that the clutch assembly from the BSD is made out of plastic, whereas the one from the Free Night is made out of a different material. Keep in mind that BSD and Free Night worked directly together for over two years working on the BSD Revolution. So I'm going to take this apart and Grant, if you're watching this and you didn't want me to do this, I'm sorry, but this is for science. And the first parts that we're going to compare are the spacer and the wedge piece, which I call the triangle piece in all of my videos about these hubs. And as you can see, upon first glance, they are very similar. There are differences, obviously the material, one is plastic, one is a different material. And then if we take a look here vertically, we can see that the BSD here on the right is much thicker than that of the planetary assuming because of the C-clip and everything to keep this a self-contained unit. Otherwise, it is very, very familiar. Now let's grab the planetary gearing systems of both the BSD and the Free Night. BSD is on the right, Free Night is on the left. And aside from the material differences we've already pointed out, we can see that one is thicker than the other. Otherwise, 
they are very similar and function very similar. Upon taking a closer look, I will say that the material construction of the BSD does feel very premium in comparison to the Freenite. I believe that this is some sort of 3D printed material, so naturally a plastic material and makeup is going to feel a little bit more premium whenever it's a production piece. So with that, let's take a look at the actual inside of the hub shell of both of these hubs. So the BSD Revolution Hub, as you can see inside here, is internally machined for this clutch assembly to fit directly within the hub shell. So the hub shell is machined on the inside to fit this thing. Whereas on the Free Night, there's actually a piece in here that is to adapt the clutch assembly to the hub. This doesn't function any differently, but it does show that this BSD hub is a little bit different than the Free Night. Now, I'm also not sure how the updated Planetary Free Coaster from Free Night differs in this respect. I do believe that there still is a difference and that the Free Night does still work the same way but I'm not 100% sure. What I can say for sure is that the differences between the planetary clutch assemblies of both the BSD here on the right and the Free Knight here on the left are great enough that these small parts and planetary clutch systems are not cross compatible with each other between the hubs. And what I mean by this is that you cannot take this planetary clutch system from the BSD that is self-contained and thicker and plop it into a Free Knight hub and have it just work. What you have to do for that is contact Free Knight directly and get a different spacer that goes into the clutch system and then it can work. But I want to make this clear. You need to contact Free Knight directly to do this if you're interested in it and they can give you more information on that. And so I feel that we're starting to see that these hubs aren't exactly the same between the two of them. There are vast similarities and some things could be cross compatible with different parts, but they are not exactly the same. And we can continue looking at these differences in looking at the axles. Before we actually take this out, which we are going to take the axle out of both of these, let's take a look at the surface. As we can see here on the BSD, there is a smaller Allen key than we may be used to with the Free Knight hub. And when we grab the Free Knight hub here, we can see in comparing them that one is smaller than the other. Don't mind the little tubing that I put into this axle. If you missed it, I did a custom axle mod where I put a tubing in here in hopes of making it stronger. But when we look at it, we can see that one BSD on the right is a six millimeter hole and the Free Knight on the left is an eight millimeter hole. And this is also something that I believe has been updated in the Free Knight hub. So I think that this one will have a six millimeter hole as well, but there are differences here that might mean that the axles are not cross compatible as well. And the only way to find that out is to take it apart. So once again, I'm sorry, Grant, if you didn't want me to do this, but I know you've seen my previous videos on the Free Knight where I apologized to Tao for very similar things. So let's grab the shout out to Park Tool Hammer and get this axle out of this hub. Easy as that. It appears to just be an axle, but we need to look closer in comparison to see some differences here. So now we've got both axles out of the hubs. We've got the BSD on the right as usual and the Free Knight on the left. And aside from some differences in color, we can immediately see the difference in the hole through the axle that we already talked about, as well as if we turn them on their side, we can see a difference in the collar where the driver slides on in that in the BSD, it's actually longer than on the Free Knight. And that has to do with that internal machining that we already talked about inside the BSD where the clutch assembly fits directly within the hub and the fact that it's thicker, it needs to go further into the hub, which means that this collar here is gonna have to be longer than on the Free Knight. And unfortunately, this also means that I can't take my solid titanium axle and put it directly within the Revolution hub. And I feel that the last thing we haven't addressed as far as the internals of these hubs go are the bearings. This says 6902RS on the bearing. And then the Free Knight says 6902RS as well. The insides are the same bearings as well, same numbers on them. So same size bearings in both hubs. And it's at this point that I feel that we've talked about everything within these hubs 
and the differences in them. So I think in the future there's going to be some sort of chart or table with overlapping small parts compatibility. There will be a way for you to find out which small parts that you need if you need anything for your hub. But with that being said, if you guys have any questions about the hub itself and how it works and how it rides or anything like that, you can refer to my game-changing free coaster playlist right here for all of the videos that I did about the Free Night Planetary free coaster in the very beginning because functionally they are the same even though there's some small differences in the small parts inside these hubs. If you guys had any comments or questions that weren't answered in the videos in this game-changing free coaster playlist, leave them in the comments down below and hopefully if you're new here you'll hit the subscribe button while you're down there and I've got to give a gigantic thank you to Grant Smith and Tal of BSD and Free Night for giving me the opportunity to make these videos. I truly feel that the revolution is upon us and as I said last year, this Free Night Planetary Free Coaster has the potential to change the game in Free Coasters forever as it feels like it's starting to do. So thank you guys all for being here and watching and hopefully we'll see you next time for another one. Goodbye.